Bienvenidos a Opulent LD TV. Desde St. Paul, Minnesota, directamente a Miami, Florida. Trayéndote todo el fuego. It's the God, Oppelin, LDTV, and I'm back. Blessings, tribe. Now, shout out to the legendary Jerry podcast. They had Princess of Crime Mob, and she had this to say about why she feels that Diamond, the reason why Diamond fell back from the group Crime Mob. Here you go. What is it that possibly Princess did wrong, potentially, to separate this group? Okay, y'all ready for this? Yeah. Me and my brother went to Six Flags, right? We came home. We called Diamond. We told her we saw Michael Jackson at Six Flags. And that Michael Jackson wants to get on Nook If You Book. And that he just left our house. And she needs to come listen to his verse. <laughs> And she ran lying. all the way from her house to ours. And she believed us. And it hurt her. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We told you. Michael what Jackson. Princess. Prince, are you being fucking serious right I'm now? I'm so man? serious. I'm so serious. How how old were y'all when this happened? <laughs> 16. <laughs> he said to start it, cry mob, yes. nothing but you, you told her Michael Jackson was in the crib. And the monkey did some ad libs. I'm sorry. <laughs> wow. <laughs> now, first of all, I know that they were young, but how the hell did Diamond actually fall for this type of this joke? Like this is. <laughs> but word is that Michael Jackson he, he does he did love a lot of hood music and such. So if you're really in tune with with Michael Jackson, it's almost believable. But come on, man, come on, sis, like come on. <laughs> And you heard that the even Bubbles, <laughs> Bubbles did ad libs. Oh my goodness, that shit's wild. <laughs> oh man, yeah, they must definitely believe that Diamond is just a gullible ass motherfucker for them to even run this, run that across it like that. But I guess my other, how can I say, not concerned, but my other thought is, is it is this really that deep? To stop messing with your group. I feel like this was just a reason. More of a reason. Or the reason that Diamond found. To just truly go solo. Because we all know. That being in a group. You know you got to split that money. What four or five different ways. What was it? Three boys and. And two chicks. So yes. Like splitting it. Splitting it five ways. Nah come on man. Come on, nah. <laughs> Who's trying to split that? And I mean, I can't really say how successful. I mean, I've been seeing Diamond. I follow her on IG and shit, but she hasn't had a hit as big as that since, in my opinion. Uh, maybe she's doing her thing locally in Atlanta, but and it looks like she's gotten some some work done as far as plastic surgery done because she definitely looks way different. I definitely love the the little chocolatey diamond from when she first hit. But you know how it is. Once people hit this industry, um, the power of that B, they play on these women and men, playing all their insecurities. And before you know it, these motherfuckers get on, go under the knife. I mean, of course, if you're doing it for yourself, cool, but... The other thing that's interesting is that it seems like, for the most part, when these people go into surgery, they just look so much better before. 
Like, if only you knew how beautiful you was before you went under the knife. But, hey, I digress. But <laughs> hop in my comments. Let me know how you feel about this story and what you think about Diamond being gullible enough to to believe it. I'm going to tell you right now, though, I would love to hear that fucking remix. It, I would love it to really have played out. That shit would have been super hard in a motherfucker. Damn. I can, <laughs> I can just imagine Michael and damn Bubbles doing ad-libs. Man, that shit would have been hard as hell. But yeah, smash my like button. <laughs> Blessings to the mighty LDBC. I am Opulent LDTV reminding you that when you're in these streets, prosper energetically. I'm gone.